I want to give a little preview of something that I'm working on. So uh, I, this is not ready for prime time yet, but here's what it is. I am creating this tools panel kind of uh, modeled after the Pro Tools way of working. So as I mentioned before, by default, you're always kind of working in this multi-tool or smart tool type approach with Reaper. And that's the way I prefer to work. Um, I actually kind of struggle with the smart tool in Pro Tools because it doesn't quite do it with the things that I want it to do when I want it to do them. So I have to switch between having the smart tool and the trim tool and the grab tool and the selector tool. Um, so uh, some people might be used to working that way. And so I'm trying to replicate that in Retooled. So uh, this button right here, uh, is going to be an indicator for the multi-tool. So that's kind of your default function. And then this is like a trim. And this kind of restricts what the tool can do. Basically, you can only trim the edges when you have this mode on. You can't move the item around at all. Next, there's a selector mode, which will let you just select. It won't let you trim or move the edge but you can select and make cuts that way and we'll sort of restrict it to only that type of tool. And then we have a grabber tool, which will let us move items around like so, but only move things around, not change the edges. Even if the mouse suggests that that should be possible, it only moves the item. Um, and then there are some other things that are sort of similar to Pro Tools, like a zoom tool so I can highlight an area that I want to zoom in and it will do that for me. I've also added a scrub tool. So that's a command five in Pro Tools. I also have a tab to transient. So for example, um, if I'm using the tab key right now, it's jumping between items like so. You can see my cursor is jumping from there to there to there. But if I turn this on, now it will tab to the different transients in the item itself. So this turns that on and off. Um, and then I have some other functions here that are also kind of modeled after some of the more advanced options in Pro Tools and add some extra goodies that are unique to Reaper. And then up here, um, this is our zoom to selection indicator. So if I click on an item and click this, it will just zoom and make that item fill up the entire screen. And that's a toggle. So if you unclick it, it'll go back to the zoom level that you had before. And that is also activated with the E key, just like in Pro Tools. So that's not ready yet. That's uh, upcoming in a future version of Retooled. But I wanted to give you a little preview that this is the direction that I'm going. And again, my goal here is to sort of bring more Pro Tools folks into the fold uh, of Reaper and show that you can get work done in Reaper just the way you would in Pro Tools and uh, that you don't have to relearn everything. So uh, that's it for today. And um, I'll see you on the next video and uh, have a good one.